What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player of the week review, player review. We're going to be taking a look here at the worldwide February 16th players of the week. And we do have a limited draw. We are able to sign 11 of the players here that we see. Uh, one player is going to cost 100 coins as normal. Three players remaining and you can get your free one with the events as well. So you can get a, a maximum of four players here. One free with the event and then obviously three with coins, right? So there's a couple of players to look at here. Obviously, I'll go through them fairly quick. We've had a lot of different versions of these players before, and we will go through them quite quickly. We have Timber there, obviously, who's a bit of a pick. Vritz and Pedri are both absolute animals. We also have Rodri and Ben Yedder, who are very, very decent as well. So we are going to start with Basicic. Um, This guy is flying it for Liverpool. Obviously, he played well the other night. He's on A form. He's got some nice player skills. Bit of a boss in midfield. I don't like the fact that he only has 78 tackling, but they have made adjustments to the tackling, so maybe that won't be as much, um, you know, as important as it was before. Very nice tight possession, low pass, lofted pass. I mean, for a 90 rated CMF, he doesn't have any stat that stands out and is like, whoa, this is this is huge. Like if he had defensive awareness 87 or something like that, I'd say something. But acceleration, low pass, tight possession, all in the low 80s, physical contact and stamina. So unless you're a Liverpool fan, I would say... You know, he's probably not worth putting in your squad, to be honest, even though he's a box-to-box. -box. We also have Musso here as well, defensive goalkeeper. Now, this guy does have low punt, but he doesn't have long throw, which is a bit of a pity. He does have unwavering form, um, which is nice. And also, as well as that, he does have 88 goalkeeper reflexes. He's a bit of a beast as well, man. He's 191 CM. He's on A rating as well, so he will be up more often than not this week because of that A live update. Rating, reflexes 88 is a big one, and obviously catching as well. I think that they've made it, enough adjustments to the goalkeepers that you don't really need a massive amount of uh, reach, you know, especially if you're this tall. I've said that before. Uh, Donna Roman stuff is, um, is kind of like the best goalkeeper in my opinion, but he still makes mistakes, right? We've also got Luke Shaw, who's a centre back. Now, this is an interesting player, man. He's kind of similar to Martinez, right? He's got all the player skills that you could possibly want. Uh, interception, blocker, uh, cut behind and turn, true passing. Very nice on the ball, uh, kind of like skills as well. The lofted pass of 90 is huge because you're able to spray the ball out to the wings if you are playing a tree at the back. And I think that I would definitely like to get Shaw. Um, he would be an absolute monster for me. I think I'd love to play with him. I do like playing with Martinez and I like playing with Timber. So that type of center back with that height um, would be quite nice. Obviously, as a blocker and interceptor, uh, interceptor with the player skills is going to be very nice as well as his aggression, tackling and speed and acceleration. Very, very nice. But I think this guy could be even better at left back. I know he's down as a center back, but I think he'd even be better at left back. We also have Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder is one of... I would say one of the most underrated players in the game, right? He's got super sub, track back, first time shot, chip shot control, double touch. He's on wavering form. He's usually up uh, on the live update rating as well. This has been a couple of weeks in a row that he's been on live update rating. I think his speed and acceleration is what makes people be put off him, right? But look at his balance and offensive awareness and finishing. 89 offensive awareness, 88 finishing and 88 balance. That's huge, man, because he's going to be making those beautiful runs into the box, especially with the new attack and AI, if it works the way it says uh, that it is going to work. Right, so moving on to kind of the picks of this, right? Obviously, Pedri, Vritz and Timber are my three choices because I love Timber. Vritz is literally like Messi. And Pedri is probably the best player in the game. I think Pedri is probably top five in the game, lads. Any version of his card. Obviously, there's been adjustments to the gameplay now, but we'll see. So we'll start with Madison here. Again, Madison's a very, very decent player. He's on standard form, but he's coming into his own uh, with the last couple of cards that he's he's had released. 87 low pass and lofted pass. 89 ball control. Um, I would probably play him as an AMF because he doesn't have those uh, defensive stats that are there, especially aggression. I think if you are playing a center mid, you do need aggression over 70. Um, but we'll see that with Pedri as well with this card. But he does have some nice player skills. Obviously, if you are a Leicester fan, uh, you will want to get him in with the one-touch passing, the true passing, the weighted pass. First time shot, obviously, if you want to be having a few pops with him. And I think the thing about Madison is you need to be shooting. You need to be shooting a couple of shots on goal. 75 finishing and 84 curl is more than enough to get a few raspers into the top corner. Now we have Timber as well. One of the best players, I think, in eFootball 2022. Has now got a very, very decent card as a centre back. 
He is a monster, man. I got him with the, f- the free nominating contract uh, way back when. I think it was the version I'm using of him. This guy looks equally as good. So he's kind of similar to Shaw, except he's faster and his defensive awareness is way higher, right? So I would definitely recommend Timber. If you don't have him, definitely get him in. He has blocker, interception, man marking, but he's also got one touch pass, acrobatic clearance, sliding tackle, aerial superiority. Even though he's not the tallest, he's got 74 header and 82 jump. The aggression is very key and the speed and acceleration are very key to this card as well. I think he's probably one of the best AI um, defensive players that you literally don't need to do much with him. He's like the McKellys. He's always in the right place. So I definitely recommend if you do draw him, get him. Gnabry, right? Gnabry. I've never really used Gnabry too much. He is as a, a creative playmaker. So as a right-sided player... I haven't really used him on the right wing or the right side. He doesn't really have the engine. 76 stamina isn't enough uh, for the way I like to play with track and back and stuff. But he does have nice stats, man. He does have nice player skills too. Double touch, chop turn, soul control, dip and shot, one touch pass. He's got some very nice moves and skill sets here. Uh, dribbling 92 is going to be huge. Obviously finishing and curl. If you are going to be cutting in, you do need to be, be shooting with Gnabry from the left flank if you are playing left, left wing. Or if you're using a right flank, you need to be able to cross the ball in. I don't like that he doesn't have early crosser uh, or pinpoint crossing if you are going to be playing him as a right mid. I think that that is kind of a bit of a waste for his card in my opinion. Rodri, right. So Rodri, again, is a lot of people's choice for DMF when he's on a form, unwavering there. He's got man marking. He's got interception. He's got area superiority. I've played with Rodri. I feel like even though he's got excellent uh, ball control and tight possession, I feel like he's a bit clumsy, man. I don't know what it is. I prefer to play with Declan Rice or Fabinho or obviously Makalele or Vieira. There's no, there's no real choice between them. But this card looks nice, man, as an anchorman. Again, one touch pass, true pass, a way to pass. He doesn't have blocker, which is a bit of a concern, but he does have nice aggression, which is 90. So he will be able to defend practically for you unless they've toned down the defensive AI quite a bit. Now, we've got Vritz. This guy, I cannot recommend enough, lads. He is he is basically like Messi. He is basically like Messi. Genuinely. Look at the dribbling, tight possession, and low pass stats. As an AMF, this guy is unbelievable. Now, I know he's down as a CF, um, but I would definitely be playing him as an AMF, lads. You won't get a better AMF than him if you are like packing him as a free player, basically, with your free spin, or you get him and you spend 300 coins to get him. He is up there, I think, with the likes of Zico, the likes of Guti. He's a 94 overall AMF and CF. 90 acceleration, 87 balance. Offensive awareness is really high. Ball control is excellent. Dribbling, high possession, low pass, lofted and finishing. You'll be able to shoot. You'll be able to do everything. He's a right foot of Messi, man. He's unbelievable. He also has 82 defensive engagement. So if you're playing him AMF, he will be able to track back a slight bit. Not a massive amount, but he is going to be a monster. And then last but not least, we have one of the best players in the game, a whole player Pedri. Now, this is a big card, right? If you do not have any version of Pedri and you get him, he will be game-changing for you if you play him right. The one big worry I have about this Pedri card, right, is obviously his aggression is only 70. Now, I would have liked to see that at 75 because you need to be able to track back with Pedri and you can't train it up. Obviously, these cards are just set as they are. But he doesn't have interception or anything like that. But I found Pedri to be just a monster defensively, being able to tackle and track back and pass passing lanes blocking all them so it would be interesting to see how this card actually handles um if we do spin him we will spin a couple later in the live stream balance ball control tight possession acceleration defensive engagement everything's perfect i would be playing him as an amf i think he's one of the best amfs in the game so that is it lads for the player of the week this week we will have the rest of the reviews coming on let me know what you guys think and if you are going to spin or skip i'll be back later hope you're enjoying the videos and the channel don't forget to subscribe if you are and i'll talk to you in a bit